everybody is asking oneself this question. What do I do if I have a patient with a BRAF mutation with a metastatic melanoma? Should I begin with a targeted agent? The best, the best regimen would be anti-BRAF plus anti mec So it's not available in every country, but hopefully it will be very soon. Or should I begin with an immunotherapy? Because now we have in most of the country, either it's authorized or it's in expanded access program, We've, we have anti-PD-1 monoclonal antibodies. We don't, I mean, in Europe, we don't yet have the combination EP plus NIVO, but still we have these very good antibodies, uh, NIVO or pamrolizumab. What should we do? Honestly, the response is we don't know. We have to evaluate that with prospective clinical trial. What is sure is that if you have a patient with a threatening metastasis, like with something that is going to compress the spine cord or with a lot of metastasis, you want to have an effect very rapidly, then you will uh, begin with a targeted uh, therapy because you can have an effect like in a few days. Whereas with NTPD1 antibody, it's not as long on average as it, it is with epilimumab. It can, most of the effect are actually happening in the first three months and sometimes it's the, in the first two weeks but it's very rare that you see effect like in a few days. So this is a subpopulation, a, a small subpopulation of patients for, for, for which we know we have to begin with targeted agents but the vast majority of our patients and it's a good thing are not in this uh, very threatening situation and for that uh, for this patient, we have to evaluate and we don't know with which treatment we, we, we begin.